for a great match here at Wilkinson Hall as both teams are getting set to go. As again with the Illinois series seniors, like we mentioned, the big one, Raina Terry, one of the players to watch. Raina Terry has also helped to build this Illinois program to what it is now. She's just the, the identity of this Illinois program and then the supporting cast around her helping her out as well. Ian, it's a very strong crowd here at Wilkinson Hall. Students may not be in full force with the holiday season. It is Black Friday. Maybe you're getting your sh shopping deals in. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Vibes are high in Bloomington. It's freezing cold outside, but the volleyball is ready to go in on the inside. Cameron Hayworth, the first team all Big Ten setter and one of the best servers in the nation, ready to get things going in her last game for Indiana. Powerful top spin serve results in an ace number 211 for Cam Hayworth. Ian, some keys on this game. We'll start out with Illinois being resilient on the attack. This is a team that takes a lot of swings with a lot of room for error. It's that mental toughness, getting to the next point regardless of the result and also utilizing the height at the net. Now for Indiana, you've seen one ace, you've seen one service error. The, the serve and pass is critical for Indiana because they are one of the better serving teams, but Illinois is even better. They've got to be able to receive the serve and keep that ball up, get in system, and then also keep the pace high. They want to catch Illinois off guard, keep them on their toes, and get to the outside quickly. That was Martinez Mundo to serve for the Illini. Set over strong, hit dug out by Martinez Mundo. Illini with it, Terry with a strong cut. Getting the point for Illinois and taking the lead here early in the first set. Big swings, you'll see a lot of those on that near post from Raina Terry, one of the best outsides in all of the Big Ten, and they feed her quite a bit. Raina Terry into this match at 476 kills, her fourth consecutive season with 400 or more. Alonzo Corsell is with a powerful swing. And it was tipped at the net point, Indiana. I want Candy playing throughout Wilkinson Hall. Alonzo Corcellus coming off a career-high 25 kills in the win versus Michigan on Wednesday, looking to keep up that momentum. Steve Aaron, head coach of the Hoosiers, so much praise with her development now a junior. Is that one going in favor of the Illini? Another service error that's two now for Indiana. Steve Aaron has talked all year about how serving is the only closed-circuit skill. He compares it compares it to free throws in basketball. You, it's you and the ball and the line and. Indiana, they're an aggressive serving team. That's why the ratio is what it is right there, 165 to 296. But they'll get their fair amount of aces. Porcellos just taps it over. Dug out Martinez, Mundo, Terry, powerful swing. Great dig out by Gary. Free ball, though, for the Illini. Blocked at the net. Maddie Sell stuck. Point, Indiana. Well, there you see one of the best defensive players in the conference, the all Big Ten freshman team last year. The defensive specialist in Ramsey Gary digging that powerful spike out from Terry and then Maddie Sell, the transfer from Mizzou at the net. And the serve in Indiana is Cummings. Strong swing, blocked in that by Saris. It's Terry again. This time it's Ava Vickers. Back to back blocks for the Hoosiers, they lead. A lot of energy here at Wilkinson Hall for this first set. Cummings, one of the seven seniors to serve, and another service error. Number three. Three of the four points for Illinois have all come from the errors from the service. And that's why it's so important for Indiana to serve well, because you can't give free points to a team like Illinois that has so much firepower on the attack. Back-to-back -back first team all Big Ten, Raina Terry to serve. Hayworth sets over to Ava Vickers. She's having a strong start to this first set. Gets the point back for Indiana. And that's where you see that speed, keeping the pace of play up as you look at Steve Aird and his fast style of play offensively at Penn State alma mater. Of course, the Nittany Lions playing for the Big Ten championship tonight at home. And Aird making himself at home here in Bloomington. Absolutely. Miscommunication in the middle. Campfire around the ball. Avery Tatum gets credited for the ace number two on the day, but with Steve Aird, the record may not have shown, obviously, under 500, but this is, again, he's talked to us, a program that he inherited that only had one win in the regular season until he took it over, and he's just done a great job ever since. Tatum to serve. Back over, strong swing by Hernandez, diving dig out by Gary. Saris 
blocked at the net. Two in line iron in the mix. Point back with Illinois. And that's where you see that height come into play. Looked like Ashlyn Philpot and Carrie Bowman there at the net. Both 6'4", and Saris can be a great hitter, but if, if you can't get it over two middle blockers with that height, it's going to be tough going. Reagan Riley, a senior transfer from South Dakota State, set to serve it up for Illinois. A lot of buzz here at Wilkinson Hall. Dug out Gary. Saris finds the gap. Point for Indiana. You can see how quickly Indiana is working on the attack. It's a quick dig out the serve, get it right to Cameron Hayworth, and let her make a play. These laser sets to the outside. Saris on one end, Tatum and Alonzo Corcellus on the other. It's worked out so far. Delaney Maple back to serve for the Hoosiers. Someone who won four consecutive national champions with USC at Beach Volleyball before transferring. Another service error. This time from Delaney Maple. That's been really the theme in this first set so far, Ian. So we see Chris Thomas of the Fighting Illini. Pretty decorated resume for him in his time with Illinois. Led his team to a national semifinal back in 2018. Played at the University of Pacific. And was an All-American his senior year as well. Made 34 appearances on the U.S. national team as well. Mosher with a very long serve. Back-to-back -back service errors. Just trading blows of errors both teams. Indiana back with it. It's interesting. You look at the scoreboard right now, and Indiana's up 8-6. But the Hoosiers are hitting 333, and Illinois negative 167. It's those service errors. It's the service errors right there. Kenzie Daphne in, wearing a libero shirt. More of a serving specialist for this Hoosier squad. Powerful serve dug up by Martinez Mundo. Big swing, free ball. That was Avery Hernandez on the powerful kill. Just unable to collect it was the Hoosiers. Momentum's swinging evenly. Yes, Indiana might have the better hitting percentage so far, but again, those errors, and Illinois is hanging around in set one. To serve is Hernandez. Dug out, Hayworth. Corcellas can't quite find it too strong, trying to paint that right side. All tied up in the first set, eight apiece early on. You can see Indiana going to the pins, trying to avoid these middles for Illinois, trying to go right across them. And with that tight angle, it's just hard to fit it in. Hernandez with the serve, Maple dug out. Maddie Sell just with a tap over. Corcellas just tries to float it, can't quite get it again. Out of bounds. Illinois now with the lead. Their first lead since the score line was two to one, obviously very early on in this one, set one. Avery Hernandez still to serve. The junior transfer from Northwestern. Dug out by Mills. Corcellus is stuffed at the net, still alive though. Hayward just with a free ball. Back over Terry. Finesse on that. Hayward set. Corcellus chips at the line, gets the point back for Indiana. You saw Alonzo Corcellus try and go back towards the middle. This time she tools the block, working it off the outside part of the arm, getting it out into that red painted area outside of the court for an Indiana score. Right where there looked to be some chaos in the middle, but here's Hayworth to set. Her serve, great diving dig out by Hernandez. Terry finds Gary. Back set by Hayworth, kept alive by Bissell. Tatum now blocked at the net. Good possession so far. Alonzo Corcellus pleads it was blocked. Steve Aird is off his seat. He has that green car. Looks like he might look to challenge this one. Yes. Head coach of the Hoosiers, Steve Aird, is going to challenge the call at the net as uh, right away Kendall Alonzo Corcellus pled. I was going to a review and just shows a lot of the trust that Steve Aird has for his players, Ian. I mean, she felt like she was pretty adamant right away. There were a lot of hands, a lot of arms in the general area of the attack, but when play is going that fast, you never really know in real time. So be good to, uh, to get another look. You have the challenge card, you might as well use it. Absolutely, and especially in a, in a match like this, this is for Indiana. Maybe the season didn't go quite as much as they saw as we get the review, gonna need that much slowdown. Clearly it was out of bounds. 
on that far right corner, but she was pleading right away that it touched a finger or part of the hand of the blockers for Illinois. Regardless of if this gets overturned or not, this is a good time for a timeout for both of these teams. It's been kind of a, an awkward first set with, with not much rhythm to it. Absolutely. Both teams hitting uh, .000 on the night, so. Triple zeros. Triple zeros, bunch of errors as we take one more look. Got down, a little different angle this side, on the front side. Oh, that's tough. It's tough to see if the finger moved. That was Caroline Barnes, the middle. Long review here, long. You know, Look at it by the officials. Joe, I'm supposed to be the analyst here, but I got no answer Man, for you on this one. That was very I got tough no to answer. see. I will say, uh, the, the bench mob of Illinois, they're playing the game Ninja right now, keeping us entertained throughout this review break. Have you ever played Ninja before? When you I, get to, it's only one move at a time, and you try and you try and get the hands. I, uh, I vaguely remember playing that again, in, in summer camp. Down. As we take one more look. This one's a lot slower than before. Here we yes. go. Make it a better look. So it's Carrie Bohm, I believe, is the one that they're looking at. Little finger Ooh. movement. Was that on Bohm or Laney on Smith? Laney, Laney Smith. Smith. Saw a little bit on the left ring finger. Just a bit. Outside hitter there for Illinois. So, well, if you saw a little bit of movement, maybe. Let's see, still a discussion going on. Says it was tip point, Indiana, after a lengthy review. Good challenge there by Steve Aird, all squared away at 10 apiece, and Cam Hayworth back to serve, already has an ace and an error to her name in this match. Big thanks to the replay crew for making me look smart. Absolutely. Play set to get underway again in the hands of the setter, Cam Hayworth. Again, a strong serve, tough collect there. Terry's just going to have to push it over. Back set, Tatum. Chip right at Raina. Terry gets the point for Indiana. They lead by two early in this first set still. And this is where the serving pass is so important. Hayworth, one of the best servers in the conference, able to get Illinois out of system, get a free ball to Indiana, and Avery Tatum made the most of it. Again, just with so much pace and topspin. Terry again. Maddie Sell is fired up after the block. The middles for Indiana have done a very solid job in set one as Hayworth still with the serve. Hoosiers lead 12-9. Three blocks for Indiana so far, only one for Illinois. Not really what you expected here in set one, but I bet Steve Aird's liking it. An ace for Cam Hayward, number two of the day, number 212 of her Indiana career. Just a Swiss Army knife when it comes to her play style. Indiana rolling right now, up four and set one. Way too strong. Point back with Illinois, but a little bit of momentum swinging towards Indiana after the powerful serves that Cam Hayworth, and then of course, Matty Sell at the middle block. It's all about energy. Cameron Hayworth brings the energy with that high top spin serve, catching Illinois off guard, and then Matty Sell is one of the most emotional and vocal players that you'll ever see. Martinez Mundo to serve. Maddie Sell found the gap. Rose right up at the net. Strong kill by the Missouri transfer. Seen a lot of defense early from Maddie Sell. Now hopping into the attack and doing well. Stamming herself a good first half of set one. And Del Alonzo Corsell is to serve. Doug out Martinez Mundo. Looks like it's going to be a free ball. Maddie Sell again, back to back kills. Hoosiers lead by five. Another overpass on the Looks like bad timeout's dig. going Good to be serve. called. Timeout called by head coach of the Fighting Illini, Chris Thomas. And Ian, Hoosiers are rolling right now. But we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after the timeout here on Big Ten Plus. Hoosiers and Illini.
welcome back to Wilkinson Hall as this Indiana squad has built a fortress about their arena as they had their 10th win of the season here on Wednesday against Michigan. This is the back-to-back -back seasons where they've had 10 wins at home thus far and now they're hoping to do their 11th tonight. If the team's 19-7 and home record over the past two years highlights how tough they've been to be at their home court. Coach T. Bear said when they built Wilkinson Hall, they hoped that the atmosphere was going to bring more people in and it was important to him. And since then, attendance records and fan energy have been record high, helping the Hoosiers secure numerous wins at home. And he said, although not many students are here tonight, he hopes the atmosphere secures another big win for them against Illinois. All right, Joe and Ian, back to you guys. That was Avery Tatum. We're re rewarded with the point for Indiana after the timeout. Thanks again, Ari. But yeah, Wilkinson Hall, it seems like it's lived up to the hopes and the dreams of what the potential is. A great crowd here right now. Obviously, again, students not in full display because of the holiday season, but fans have shown out. Too many hits, a little chaos right there from Indiana. Couldn't quite collect it. Point back with Illinois. So Lily Berry checking in to serve for the Fighting Illini. Just looks like Hoosiers got caught up. A little flat footed at the net. Looks like a little game of hot potato down there. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Alonzo Corsells with the dig out. As Hayworth was just unable to collect it. Tried to flick it back one handed with the. Corsells, when she stepped over, looked like she got in front of Gary's way there. So out of the timeout, two straight, well, one point for Indiana, then two straight for Illinois. As we're starting to get late into the first set, this is where teams have to start separating themselves when you get within 10 of that final mark. Service ace by Lily Berry as Maddie Saris was unable to collect. And that's going to force a timeout from Steve Ayer, and that just shows some of the offensive firepower that this Illinois Fighting Illini squad have over 1,300 kills on the season. We're in a solid 12.6 kills per set and a very respectable hitting percentage as well. And that's something that maybe Indiana has struggled with this year. They're hitting right around 200, just a hair over. And it's just been some of those errors all season long that's maybe kept them out of games at times, Ian. And these are two teams that have really different play styles. Illinois is a team that takes a lot of risks. They put the ball high up in the air and get and you know go to the pins mostly for Terry. And Indiana is a team that plays fast, plays in the middle and tries to run everything through Hayworth and with these tight sets. So the stats kind of make make sense with the hitting percentage there. Um, it's just interesting to see how coaches like to alter you know from the from the typical style of play and these teams do it on kind of ends of the extreme. Now the thing with Indiana is, is playing so much in the middle, they have to watch out for the two middle blockers on the Illinois side, and that's one, the freshman Asher Philpott, as well as Kerry Boehm. Both have been fantastic this season. Uh, Asher Philpott, the freshman, like I mentioned, she's sixth in the Big Ten in total blocks this year, and has just been terrific, 123 on the season. Definitely a threat in that middle, hasn't really made her presence known yet, but has altered the game plan a little bit from what Indiana's tried to do up to this point. And she was one of the premier recruits that Chris Thomas got, ranked number 44 last year by Prep Dig. And she stepped in to this new role at Illinois as a freshman, and she has really lived up to the hype. If you're sixth in blocks in the conference as a freshman, that's saying a lot about your skill at the net. That's her at the very front of the net, right in front of Raina Terry, is Barry, again to serve. Terry and Barry, a lot of rhymes here is Barry is credited with the service error. And this right here is the big momentum point, like you mentioned, 17-13 for Indiana. Your chance to pull away first to 20, especially right now. That can set you up in prime position to win set one. And a bit of a taller lineup for Indiana now. Alonzo Corsellis, Saris, Vickers, Tatum, and Sell. So trying to get some height at the net, use their advantage there. Strong kill by just who we talked about, Ashlyn Philpott, after a great diving dig by Martinez Mundo. Point back with Illinois. And Kind of a crucial moment of this set, really. Well, Indiana had the height in the lineup. There was just nobody at the net. It was a one-on-one -on -one at that far post. And Philpott made it easy. Raina Terry. Set Hayworth. Saris. So much power on that strike. Big arms, big swings. That's something that Steve Hare loves about his squad. Matt Saris showing right there. Avery Tatum to serve her second season with Indiana a Junior. She transferred from Cincinnati after her freshman year. Back set. 
is tapped over by Philpott. Hayworth, again, just finessed by both squads now. Free ball for Indiana. Saris again blocked at the net. Gary keeps it alive, though. Corcellus finds the point off the strike from the back row. Two fighting Illini right at the net. Did not matter for Candela Alonzo Corcellus. Powerful spike there. That leads to another timeout by head coach Chris Thomas of the Illinois fighting Illini. We see this replay here. Candela Alonzo Corcellus with the back row. That must have been might be the confusing point right there for Illinois. They weren't expecting Hayworth to go to the back row as compared to where they usually go on the sides. Hayworth just tends to get crafty and, and tricky when Indiana needs a crucial point. And Alonzo Corcellus, red hot for Indiana. 25 kills in the last match on Wednesday versus Michigan. Already four tonight to lead all players. Well, speaking of Hayworth, it's looking like she's already having one of those marquee games. And what better way to do it than, than senior night as she has 10 assists already in set one. It's not even over. Two service aces as well. Just what a career she's had. And it's not quite done yet. This was, this was a player that when we talked to Steve Ayer just today that he expects her to possibly use her fifth season to go play beach volleyball and make a little transition. So that'll be kind of fun to track her journey in the future moments. And it's interesting to say that because Indiana has a player that played four years of beach, won four national championships with Delaney Maple Absolutely. coming in this year. So I would have to imagine that Delaney and Cameron talk with each other to figure out next steps. And Delaney might have made a recommendation. Delaney Maple's a very... Uh, well-rounded volleyball player between high school and college in her time at USC and in high school. She won 262 matches in eight years. That's pretty solid, I think. Avery Tatum to serve. Dug out Martinez Mundo. Powerful swing by Philpa. She stuffed at the net, though. Hernandez now. Caught Candelo Alonzo Corcellus flat-footed. Gets the point back for the Fighting Illini's triple substitutions set to come in for Illinois as well. You can see here Hernandez just the blocker for the Hoosiers, just unable to get there in time as Ava Vickers. Reagan Riley back to serve for Illinois. Dog out. Hayworth called her own number, still alive though. Saris just floats it over. Barry with the set. Up Hernandez. Saris now finds the gap. Cross body kill. Hoosiers first to 20. Really interesting. Indiana looked out of sorts. Looked like it could have even been a double touch on Ava Vickers, but nonetheless, Cameron Hayworth goes to the far post and Saris kind of off balance, fading away, gets that one cross court for the kill. Hayworth has been very strong with her passing so far, allowing her teammates to get open as Delaney Maple, we just talked about. Powerful strike. Delaney Maple with the ace. Ace number four for the Hoosiers, and they are serving well so far, leading 21 to 15. The five service errors doesn't look great, but when you pair that with four aces, really doesn't matter at all. That high top spin serve. Tough dig out by Barry. Keeps it alive though. Big swing. Taylor DeBoer gets it back for Illinois. Right down the line with authority. Wow. Wow is right. Just no mercy, no changeup, no curveball, all gas. For Mosier to serve for the Illini. Another very decorated server. Too strong on that one on the flat foot. As again with Delaney Maple, like we had talked about, I mean, been rotational at that libero spot, 165 digs on the year, solid serving as well. And like we mentioned, four time national champions, four years, four national champions with USC at Beach Volleyball. That's tremendous. Ramsey Gary, the sophomore to serve. That's Kenzie Daphne, excuse me. Powerful serve dug out by Martinez Munda to keep it alive. Two Hoosiers hit the deck. Mills just keeps it over. Back over Illinois, diving dig out by Hayworth. Great rally so far. Terry 
Over to Hernandez, finds the back left corner in a great rally. Illinois comes off top on the Avery Hernandez point. Threading the needle is Avery Hernandez. That rally was going all over the place. Players diving everywhere. And just kind of off the back foot, sneaks it in that back left corner. Dugout Mills, Hayworth calls her no number, but it was read like a book by Raina Terry. Nothing getting by her. Going back with Illinois, they're within four, 22-18 the scoreline. To serve is Hernandez. Dugout Maple. Corsella is blocked at the net, but found the gap. Point back with Indiana, they're two points away from taking set one. And it's in the hands of Cameron Hayworth, really no one else you'd want it to be. She's been the best server for the past four years in this program, and especially celebrating her and the rest of the seniors on senior night. You're exactly right, Joe. That jump serve so strong, and this one going too far. Too strong, I might add. Might be a case of the announcer jinx right there. Maybe. Seems to happen a lot. I'm not sure if it's a jinx or this. Maybe they got earpieces listening to us. I don't think that's the case. That'd make for an entertaining product. Wouldn't it? Christina Martinez Mundo to serve. Set up, blocked. Now it's Alonzo Corsellis. Can't quite get it over. Saw the double blockers there for Illinois and just couldn't sneak it by. Right into the net. Illinois has now got 20 within striking distance. Throughout the most of this set, Illinois' blockers haven't really been too active, but as of late, especially right there, they've been really active at the net. Clandell, Alonzo Corsellis. Now with Indiana, Gary up. Good dig out there by Maple. Tatum with finesse. Cause a violation. And now it's set points for Indiana here in set one. They lead 24-20. Candela Alonzo Corsellis, the junior from Madrid, Spain to serve. Looks like Illinois looks is going like, to challenge the net violation. Looks like Chris Thomas is going to challenge that net violation. So we'll take a look, get a second set of eyes on it. Well, that was a look at the Alonzo that Corsellis was the, That was kill. the original challenge earlier in this set. Going back to the play in question, Indiana kept getting free balls on these overpasses and catching Illinois out of system. Yes. So it, Indiana would fire it right back, get blocked by two double blockers at the net. So what did Avery Tatum do? Just tap it over with finesse. But that caught Illinois a little bit off guard. So might have touched the net. It may have gone under the net. Don't know. Don't have the, the vision on it right now. But that is what is being questioned at the moment. It was definitely tough to get a true angle of that. But obviously that earlier review, it was a moment where the scoreline was 10-9 in favor of Indiana. This one a little more, a little more under duress because score could be much different. 23-21 would be the reversal in favor of Indiana, but it would be in the hands of Illinois to serve. And obviously, if it goes in favor of uh, the original call on the courts, Indiana will be leading 24-20, set point on the line with the ball in their hands. So I'd say a decent amount on the line with this review right here, Ian. 24-20 looks a lot different than 23-21, especially with the set at stake it and is. it will stay as it was called. Yeah, it was tough. Uh, official talking to Chris Thomas right now, just giving him a kind of throwing his hands as Wilkinson Hall is on their feet for set point here in set one of the regular season finale. It's been a good buzz all match long so far. Alonzo Corsell is to serve. Dug out Terry. Back over to Terry. Gary now. Good dig out. Hayworth keeps it alive. Just going to have to be a free ball over for Illinois. Laney Smith over Gary. Another good dig. Great rally here. Smith. Kendall on to Corsellis there. Tatum. Just back and forth ball here. Gary tried to dive. Couldn't quite get it with the left hand. Point for Illinois after a very long rally, one of the longest of the day so far. 
Uh, Ramsey Gary was everywhere in that rally, diving all over the place, but not able to get there on that last ball. It's Lily Berry to serve. Still set point. Looks like that might have been too strong. Service error to claim set one for Indiana, winning 25-21. They'll have a 1-0 lead on tournament hopes. Hoosiers are pretty much all but eliminated from postseason contention. Had a rough patch in the middle part of the season, and obviously we know how much of a gauntlet that Big Ten schedule is. The Big Ten is far and away the, the toughest conference in all of college volleyball. They're Especially with the four new teams coming in from out west, you add that to the powerhouses and, and the building teams, and this league is just deep start to finish. Absolutely. Set to about to get underway here at Wilkinson Hall. Again, Indiana leading 1-0 in the sets after taking the first one, 25-21. They hit 250 in that set, four service aces, and that was key right there, was the aces, a team that's so strong from that serving line. Avery Hernandez of the Fighting Illini to get things going for set two. Dug out, mate. Lonzo Corsellas, big swing on it as Illinois keeps it alive. Raina Terry, looks like it's gonna be an error, or got it. That one hit the net on the way over. The it didn't hit a hand of no any hand. Hoosiers and just went straight off the net out of bounds. And I get a replay here by Raina Terry. Yes, just off the net. Good eyes there by the officials. Point Indiana taking the first one of set. Cam Hayworth to serve so much power on that. Just tough dig out by the Alina. Raina Terry had a very awkward attempt of at getting over the net. And I think that caught the Hoosiers even more off guard. Even scoreline now for the first two points. That was about a fingertip away from being an ace for Cam Hayworth, but a nice touch over by the far post, and just Avery Tatum wasn't ready for it on the other end. Went off one of her knuckles, and there was nobody home. Dug out Alonzo Corsellis. Maddie Sell finds the middle of the court for the kill. Sell has been terrific today. Three kills on five attacks, two blocks as well. As we take a look at the serving numbers, we went over this uh, in the break, but just to, to visualize that, four aces for Indiana to one. Now you look at the six errors, that may sound like a lot, but the ratio is what Steve Aird wants to see. Absolutely, he knows his team is so aggressive from that service line, but if they're able to get the reward with the risk, it certainly outweighs it at times. Terry, big strike, Tatum tried to block it, but Raina Terry is just so dangerous from that spot. Her third kill. Chris Thomas was talking to us earlier this week and saying the key for Illinois is to play free. Launch that ball up into the sky and let it come down to Raina Terry. She's got one of the best arms in the country. If she plays free, this team is hard to beat. Dog out, Gary. Back set for Tatum. Can't find that back line. Attacking error by the Hoosiers. Or maybe she did. Excuse me, she did find that back line. Looks very close. Maddie still to serve though for Indiana. Dug out Martinez Mundo. Net violation being called on Brooke Mosher. Another point, Indiana. The errors keep stacking up as we take a look at Raina Terry, 476 kills coming into this one. The program leader in three categories, that's how you know you're an all-timer. That's how you know you've done something right with this squad. This is her 142nd match with Illinois in her fifth year. It's right there, Terry getting the kill. Like clockwork, Ian. Terry's been somewhat quiet so far. Only four kills on 13 attacks, three errors, but she can mix between power and finesse, did it right there, and now she's at the service line. Miranda Terry back to serve for Illinois here in set two. Again, Indiana took set one. Alonzo Corcellus, big swing on that, kept alive. Hernandez, Alonzo Corcellus on the ground. Block. Avery Hernandez fired up after that one. We're starting to see Illinois play more tight, closer to the net. 
and it's working out so far. They've got the height, especially with this lineup that Indiana has out right now. Terry back to serve again, leads this program in service aces. Kind of a hidden talent for her. Good block there by Saris. Hernandez plays it over. Gary flies to the floor to keep it alive. Martinez Mundo hits the deck on the dig out. Hernandez finesse on that. Ball is up for Saris. Finesse catches Barry on the ground. Again over Hernandez. She's stuffed, but out of bounds. Avery Hernandez with the kill. Point Illinois, a great rally between both squads. Illinois now in the lead here in set two. A perfect example of tooling the block. You see two Hoosiers come over, what do you do? You hit it off the side of Avery Tatum's arm, get it to go right out of bounds. Back to serve again is Terry. Two strong service error by Raina Terry. Point back with Indiana, five apiece. Avery Tatum, the powerful armed junior to serve for the Hoosiers. Hernandez digs it out. Back set Mosier back over to Hernandez. Free ball for Illinois. Big swing, Terry. Caught Terry flat-footed for a second, couldn't quite get that one on that dive. Or excuse me, it, didn't, it was out of bounds. It missed just wide. Missed just wide. So we'll take a look get down a the line. Get a second look. Oh yes, good call there. Avery Tatum, right into the net. Point back with Illinois. It's the seventh service error for Indiana. That one just didn't look like it had a lot of juice to it. Just kind of fluttered into the net. Yeah, just not a lot under it. Back to serve is Bianca May for the fighting Illini. Jump serve, dug out Mills. Hayworth gonna take it herself. Mosier up to Terry, just so much run up on that swing. Blocked out of bounds by the Hoosiers. And Ray to Terry starting to take over here in set two, Ian. When Terry gets in rhythm, it is really hard to stop her, especially when she's going one on one with a six foot middle. Absolutely, Ray to Terry has just been so dominant this year. And height does matter at those middle spots as Hayworth was stuffed at the net. Just a bad receive on Indiana's side, goes right over towards the net, and then Hayworth had to go again one-on-one -on -one with one of Illinois' 6-3, 6-4 middles. That's a recipe for a disaster there. May still to serve for the Illini. They're winning 8-6, Saris strong. Ball still alive. Hernandez, dug out, Maple. Alonzo Corcellus finds the back row, it's still up. Great dig out by Terry. Hernandez, not enough on it, right into the net, point back with IU. That was really Delaney Maple with a great dig out. Point back with Indiana. Just off the wrong yeah, part of the hand. Didn't look like she was totally set either. Delaney Maple to serve for the Hoosiers. Illinois leading 8-7 to seven here in set two. Indiana still with that 1-0 lead in the sets, however. Mosier back to Terry, big swing, just a campfire right in the middle of a circle of Hoosiers. 9-7, Illinois leads. Raina Terry is starting to pick up that hit percentage just a little bit and picking up the kills now in the game high with six. Not too surprised by that number either. It's strong serve dugout. By Maple, has Alonzo Corcellus flying, chipped away. Set is up, Hernandez. Maple, great dig out. Vickers just with a punch. Right over the net. It's the point back for Indiana. Smart play by the sophomore. Someone that Steve Aird said is one of the best, like overall emotions and, and, and just has the best attitude of anyone he has ever coached. A lot Vic of praise there. Vickers is someone that's had to battle with injury. She's battling with one right, right now. She's going to have surgery for a torn labrum on Monday, but still playing tonight. Kenzie Daphne, another strong arm server for Indiana, was able to be collected. However, Laney Smith. Laney Smith takes one right 
and the and the shoulder it looks like almost a Scott Sterling moment. She gives a thumbs up. A Kendall Hans, of course, sells a lot of power. Let's get a second eye on that. Woo! Oh, Martinez Mundo. Been right in the face like. of Martinez Mundo. Have you ever seen the Scott Sterling video? I have. Okay, I, I was hoping you picked that up. I'm a big fan. Kenzie Daphne again to serve. Martinez Mundo again targeted. Service ace by Kenzie Daphne. Indiana takes the lead, forcing a timeout by Chris Thomas in the Fighting Illini as vibes are high here at Wilkinson Hall. We're going to send it to a quick break as this game takes a break. More volleyball up next on Big Ten Plus. Makes the Big Ten so big for starters. It's 18 of the country's most iconic universities. It's Defend the Rock, Jump Around, and the biggest bass drum on earth big. It's a stadium so big. They had the name at the Big House. Go Blue. It's dotting the I big. Let's go Bucks. It's all-time leading score big. And now that USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington have joined the party, it's... Indiana taking the lead here in set two, leading 10 to nine after the Kenzie Daphne service ace, ace number five of the evening for the Hoosiers. They're leading 1-0 after taking the first set 25 to 21 over the Illinois fighting Illini team that desperately needs a win to close out their season. And this Indiana offense this season, the offense has been a little slower than last year. It's been a part to that hitting percentage, just above 200. And when you're competing in the Big Ten, you want to be in the mid 200s range around 230, 240. It's Daphne right there. The powerful serve is a service error, all squared up 10 apiece. Daphne, a serving specialist for Indiana, the senior from Westfield, Indiana, Westfield High School alum. And when you do those high top spin serves, leaves a lot of room for error to hit it out. Maple hitting the deck on the dig out. And Corsellis finds the gap. Martinez Mundo unable to get it. Point back for IU. Joe, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea how that ball made it through. Threading the needle is what we like to say for that. Good kill there by Alonzo Corcellus and the strong arm, Cam Hayworth. Jump serve. Wow. What an ace. Service ace number three of the day. Service ace number 213 of her career. I'm going to be a tracker of this because it's quite the feat. The all-time leading server in Indiana history. Raina Terry, powerful strike. Gary is able to dig it out, though. Kept alive by the Hoosiers. Over is Tatum. Tatum finds the back corner, painting those corners. Indiana now getting some momentum on their side. Out of that timeout, they're on a 4-1 scoring, or 3-0 scoring run. Hayworth still to serve. A little more finesse on that. Has Terry diving for the dig. Terry now. More finesse. Gary up for Corsell as she's stuffed. Unable to keep it alive. Good blocks there from Illinois to get the point back when momentum was heavily teetering the Hoosiers. That was big for Illinois because Indiana was doing everything that they want to do well. They had their servers going, they had Gary flying around in the back, and they had Hayward distributing to the pins. Now Illinois, ball back in their control. Hayworth up to sell the one-two punch. And that was quite the punch on the kill. Point Indiana. Look at the power there. It's that quick set again. You have the bluff on the post with Alonzo Corcellus. You set it short, and Sell is right there with a wide open lane. Not much that Philpott could do at that middle spot for Illinois. Up for Philpott. Gary was unable to get a clean dig out. Point back for Illinois. Still a back and forth set two here at Wilkinson Hall. A set that Illinois feels they really need to win to stay alive, not only in this match, but on their season. Lily Berry back to serve. Hayworth up for Saris, the senior, a kill. And this time, it was the bluff in the middle going to the outside. Illinois just saw a look where Indiana bluffed on the post, went to the middle. They flip it 
Just some tricky movement there on this Indiana attack. Luca Fickle checking in to the match for the first time today, back to serve. Coach Aaron said she's been in the rotation to serve a few times over the past few weeks. Dug out, Raina Terry. All power, couldn't quite find it, too strong. Looks like there's a little bit of frustration in that one. Another point, Indiana is Fickle. Back to serve again. If that name sounds familiar, it's because it is. She is the daughter of the Wisconsin football head coach, Luke Fickle. Luke L. Fickle to serve though. Terry digs it out. Dug out Mosher over to Hernandez. And a solid dodge there by Alonzo Corsellas getting out of the way as an attacking error by Illinois leads to another timeout by Chris Thomas. Indiana leading 17 to 12. All the momentum on their side. They're starting to pull away here in set two, Ian. Indiana doing all the little things well. They're playing well at the net, they're playing at their pace, and it's working out so far. Now something that I talked about after the very first point of this match was mental toughness for Illinois. The attack is, is one that features a lot of big swings and high sets, and it doesn't always work out well. So they gotta have the mental toughness to move on to the next point, regardless of if they get the kill or if they hit it out of bounds. And Terry has struggled throughout this one in the early parts of set two. Five attacking errors and only six kills. I will say, Ian, with some of that mental toughness, you have to go back a little bit and walk in their shoes because it's been a lot for Illinois in these past couple days. On Wednesday, they played a home match against a ranked, a top 15 Minnesota opponent, had to hit the road on Thursday to head to Bloomington, celebrated Thanksgiving in a hotel as a team, and then have this regular season finale match against Indiana. So a lot happening in that three day span. Obviously, Thanksgiving as a team is a different type of celebration, probably a little bit of fun, but still, that. Keeping that mental aptitude has been hard, and especially when you find yourself trailing here in set two, down 1-0 in the sets already, it can be a little tough. A lot of factors that go into sport that not a lot of people consider. It's always, yeah. always about the physical nature of the sport, but mental toughness and mentality is, is always important. I will say though, when we talked to Coach Thomas, he had such high praise with the way his team carries themselves and the camaraderie around it. All good vibes, really. The vibes still seem high. It seems like the bench is still into it. Heads are not hanging here in set two. They know there's a lot on the line. They still look like they're having fun. Luca Fickle to serve for the Hoosiers. Up 17 to 12 here in set two. Dug out. Set over is DeBoer. Hayworth finds a strong arm. Tatum, who gets the kill for Indiana. Avery Tatum. Quietly putting together a really solid first two sets so far. Very efficient on the evening. Again, Luca Fickle back to serve. Hasn't played a ton, but really great high school career. Kind of that next gen of Indiana Hoosiers that you know, I imagine we'll talk about more in this broadcast. It's Rain and Terry getting the kill point back for Illinois. As Illinois really needs to start to string together some good offensive possessions here. Absolutely. Indiana's close to crossing that 20 point mark. Both teams are getting close to that final 10 points of the set. This is where you really got to put it together. It's Raina Terry. Powerful arm to serve. Good communication there as Hayworth finds Saris. Up is Hernandez. Two Hoosiers at the net. Point IU off the violation by Illinois, and now Indiana really in the driver's seat. Only six points remain, up six as well. Uh, you can just see they're not able to get it over. Tatum to serve. Dug out Terry. Just a quick. A little bit of confusion there. Well, that was odd because. I. Ramsey Gary thought she dug that out. It looked like and then she the did. team started to huddle together. We'll take one more look. The team started celebrating. But the, the signal didn't the, come yeah, until after that ball hit the ground. So that, that might was, have been in play. That was very confusing. Both teams thought it was over, except really Gary and Cam Hayworth. There's Kendall Alonzo Corsellish, and she is stuffed big time by a pair 
of Fighting Illini. Carrie Bowen was one in that mix. Taylor DeBoer the other. Just eradicating that attempt. Bianca May. Dug out Saris. Hayworth over back to Saris. That connection. A lot of years under their belt, a lot of experience. Maddie Saris getting the point back for Indiana. They're at 20, knocking on that door to take a 2 0, a commanding 2 0 lead in this match. That was a textbook campfire for Maddie Saris, a host of fighting Illini and find the middle of her. A lot of ball watching as she just floated it right over. Sometimes alternating between the power and the finesse is so smart. Delaney Maple jump serve too strong. Point back with Illinois. Still some life. Indiana's a team that has struggled throughout the year once they've gotten to that 20 point mark of finishing sets out. Illinois got some work to do, but the door is wide open for sure. Door doesn't close until a team hits 25, and especially a strong offensive team in Candelo, Alonzo Corcellus. Another just great point on that kill. And she has just been on a tear this season, making some great strides from year two to year three, and especially the back half of this year. Doing a great job, has 20 plus kills in three consecutive matches. Ramsey Gary to serve. Mosher back set. Kept alive by Hayworth. Back over to Alonzo Corcellus. And it looks like she's gonna again plead that that was tipped at the net. It was called originally an error. Steve Aird immediately goes to grab the green challenge card. Goes to check with his team. We get the slow-mo replay right away, thanks to Big Ten Plus. Great production crew we have along with us, and woo, be that pinky finger of Avery Hernandez is, I imagine, what they're looking at. It was awfully close there. I, I didn't see yeah, I definitive. Was, I don't know if it moved, but that would be, that. that's the finger you're looking at. Did not see anything too definitive on that look, but this is another one of those situations where the point switch could be massive as we take one more look. Again, another angle here, very slowed down. It's Alonzo Corcellus. It's that right hand of Hernandez. Might have grazed I mean, the pinky. Might have. It if looked like anything. she had some hand motion, arm motion, uh, who knows. But saw earlier in the huddle there, it was Raina Terry kind of taking the reins of the talk. And being being that leader, being this, the, the grad student leader, she's, it's her fifth season with the program. It shows a lot, shows a lot of the character that she has and kind of the mark that she's trying to leave on this Illinois volleyball program, Ian. Yeah, Terry, the graduate student, has been the heart and soul of this program. Yes, she leads in three stat categories in the program's history, but the present is really what matters, trying to bring this team to where they want to be. She has everything behind her already done. She's looking forward to the future. Absolutely, and the future's quite bright for her. Drafted 11th overall in the Pro Volleyball Federation, the first ever fighting Illini to get drafted to a pro volleyball league. And it was all praise when we talked to Coach Thomas about this. He was just so proud of someone that he recruited, brought to Illinois, and coached for five straight seasons. Paul is determined, good challenge again. Two for two on challenges is Steve Aird. And I'd say a big point right there. Now within three of closing out this set to an Illinois, finding themselves in a deeper hole. Ramsey Gary to serve, up 22-16. Hoosiers up 1-0 in the match. Gary to serve. Set back by Mosher, blocks Candel Alonzo Corcellus. Hernandez. Hayworth just wasn't able to clean that one up. Point back for Illinois. Just a reception error. Wasn't really expecting the finesse there from Illinois was Cameron Hayworth. Five points is not a lot, especially late in sets where teams tend to go on runs. Illinois with control of the serve. Looking to make some, make a move here. There haven't been a ton of big runs in this match so far as Candel Alonzo Corcellus gets it right back for Indiana. Now knocking on the door to close out set two in the hands 
of Cameron Hayworth already with three service aces on the match. And Alonzo Corcellis, the first to eclipse 10 kills on the match. Jump serve, Hayworth. Dug out by Martinez Mundo. Reina Terry, big swing. Gets it right back for the fighting Illini. I mean, if you saw on the screen, you could just see how much power possesses. We get a second look at it as well. That's even slowed down. Just not even much of a reaction from Alonzo Corcellis just blitzing by her. I mean, that was a swing and a half right there. And this Wilkinson Hall crowd was ready to celebrate set point. But Terry said, put it in reverse. Pump Let's go back brakes. and play. Pump the brakes a little bit. This set's not over. Christina Martinez Mundo to serve. Transfer from Eastern Illinois. Another long tenured volleyball player as well in her fifth season. Alonzo Corcellis finds the back row. Last possible point as it is officially set point for set two in the hands of the person who just got a kill, Candela Alonzo Corcellis. 24-18 the scoreline. Indiana looking to take a commanding 2-0 lead in the match. Serve is up, dug out by Terry. Mosher up for Smith, dug out Gary. Hayworth up for Corcellis, kept alive. This is gonna be a long attempt by Terry Strong. Running back as Corcellus, she can't quite get to it. Hayworth flying, a penguin slide on the floor. A good strong swing again by Raina Terry. And holding on to that last breath of life is Illinois here in set two. You can just see again so much power right at the body of Ramsey Gary. In the hands of Reagan Riley, though, it'll be it right there. Is the fact that this is one of the best hitting performances Indiana's had in the conference match so far. Hitting just under 300. That's some big time numbers, especially coming at a crucial moment and keeping Illinois really off the board. It's, again, kind of just been Raina Terry on the attack. Avery Hernandez in there with six kills, but outside of those two, it's been tough before the Hoosiers. Candel Alonzo Corcellus already with 11. Avery Tatum with six, hitting above 500. Maddie Saris also with five, and Maddie Sell with four on only six attempts. So it's been efficient attacking, very solid attacking from the Hoosiers, and it's why they find themselves in poised position, in prime position, to take that 2-0 lead in this match. Again, Reagan Riley to serve for the Fighting Illini. Another senior. Senior's the big talking point here tonight. Fans on their feet at Wilkinson Hall. Dug out by Ramsey Garrett. Set Hayworth over to Saris. The senior, Maddie Saris, closing out set two as Indiana having a commanding 2 nothing lead in this match so far. Maddie Saris closing it out. And Indiana in the driver's seat, Ian. The energy is there for the Hoosiers winning set one, 25-21. Little bit better in set two at 25-19. to They went rolling with Alonzo Corcellus, 30 attacks for the junior from Madrid. Just to name a few, and what they've done to like pave the way of this program being really his first the, like overall recruits back when they were in 10th grade, it, it's shown some of the strides that Indiana Volleyball has taken. This was, the, the year of their recruiting was the year after Indiana won one match the whole season. And Steve Aird went out, told these players, hey, I think we're gonna be pretty good in the next few years. They believed in the process, they came here, and they've become the core group of Steve Ayer's rebuild of this program. He was talking to us before the game saying that this class was, was special to him. And he's he knows what their life is now, but he believes it's only going to get better in the future. That was one of the biggest things is there wasn't a ton of maybe sentiment or, 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 or high emotions about this being the final match of him coaching some of these seniors, but he was so excited for what they're up for next, whether it's in the work field, whether it's in playing professionally. And he had a great quote saying, life only gets better as you get older, contrary to what a lot of people think. I mean, he's taking a vacation right when the season ends, so hey, I can't, I can't say he's wrong in that regards. Set three about to get underway, pump it up by indoor playing. If that doesn't get your juices flowing, I'm not sure what does. Cam Hayworth, one of the seniors mentioned, about to get it going on the surf. That is way too strong. Hitting the Indiana logo well behind that back line, Point Illinois. Obviously, we know how aggressive this team is serving, but that one, not really close. 
That's just part of the game. When you serve aggressively, it's going to happen at some point. The ball's going to spin off your hand wrong, and it's just one error. Terry to serve. Corcellus over by the scorer's table keeps it alive. So it's just going to be a free ball. Good block there at the net. Gary keeps it alive. Back set Hayworth over to Tatum. Free ball for the Hoosiers. Hayworth back over to Tatum. Catches Terry slipping a little bit. Point back with Indiana, Avery Tatum. Taking advantage of the overpass. Comes right back over. Nice back set from Hayworth and Avery Tatum finds the floor with some authority to it. It's Candela Alonzo Corcellus to serve. Dug out Hernandez. Looks like she towed that line, found it perfectly. I mean, couldn't get any closer. Smart play there, working down that left, left sideline. C2 Hoosiers right on the pin. You go right past them to the left, thread it right down the white paint for the score. All precision there. Serve is up, dug out Alonzo Corcellus. Big hit by Avery Tatum. My goodness, that's happened a few times now. How much that Reagan Riley could do. Could hear the pop of it. There it is again. Wow, just right in the collarbone. Avery Tatum after a kill will go back to serve. Excuse me, that's Matty Sell. Right into the net. Another service error by the Hoosiers. Starting to rack up, but still with those aces. So it's one of those things that you can almost overlook because they're, they're getting the reward with the high risk. 11 service errors to six aces, but what's really keeping Indiana in this game, a 329 hit percentage. Absolutely, that's been the thing separating them, why they have a 2 nothing lead in this match. Back over to Alonzo Corcellus from the back row. Over to Hernandez, all finesse. Kept alive, Tatum now. Landy Smith keeps it up. Miranda Terry just pushes it forward. A lot of back and forth action here in this rally. Tatum with another kill. Avery Tatum has been so sharp today. Another point for Indiana early here in set three. All sets moving forward to side this match. That one sneaking over the net by Tatum. Hernandez puts her mitt into it. Up over to Smith. Diving dig out by Gary. Saris now finds the back row. That was smooth. What a play by the Hoosiers. 4-3 they lead Avery Tatum to serve and she has just been fantastic this season. A almost 100 kill increase from last season. Still has a chance to surpass that. Obviously transferred from Cincinnati after her freshman season, her second season here with Indiana. Just found kind of a new home, a new love for the game at Indiana. has done a great job. Another service error, though. She's going to be one of those key pieces next year for Indiana. We've been talking about the seniors all night long, but she's going to be one of those core juniors that will take over next year. And there is a strong core of juniors and sophomores on this team as Maddie Saris gets the kill for Indiana and checks out immediately. But there is a good core of youth on this team that really either hasn't played a lot this season or has gotten good reps, whether it's Maddie Sell, Avery Tatum, and of course, the libero, and one of the best liberos in the conference, Ramsey Carey. Delaney Maple back to serve. Powerful strike. Over Laney Smith right into the net. Indiana up 6-4 here in set three. Haven't seen a lot of slide action out of Illinois tonight. They try it there on the far post and just right into the net, unsuccessful. Delaney Maple still to serve that high jump serve. A dig out by Martinez Mundo. Smith, powerful. Mills trying to dive with the one hand to keep it alive, unable to. Good strike there by Laney Smith, one of the Freshman starters of this Illinois squad. A lot of praise again for Coach Thomas about it's Ashton Philpott, Lady Smith up there at the net. 
who've just done such a good job as freshmen to come into the, like we've talked about, the toughest conference in all of college volleyball and thrive. And they've had a little bit of chemistry, both from North Carolina. They played club together, and they're in the same recruiting class. So coming into Illinois together has definitely helped them. Vickers didn't win the joust. Alonzo Corsell is too strong. Point back for Illinois. Momentum swinging evenly. Six of pieces of the scoreline here in set three. Again, Indiana winning the first two sets. Still hitting above 300 in the match so far. Hayworth over to Candela Alonzo Corcellis. Joust won by Ava Vickers between her and Raina Terry. And that's a battle right there. A lot of confidence right there by Vickers to match up against Terry and win that. Force the net violation. We've seen a lot of violations on Illinois tonight, playing at the net closely and just tapping the net at the wrong time. Kenzie Daphne, another just powerful server, again too strong. The Lady Maple just telling her to relax a little bit. Ramsey Gary immediately checks back in. A couple substitutions in for the Alina as well, one of which Reagan Riley to serve, the other Taylor DeBoer, who's up behind Raina Terry. Dug out Maple. Maddie Sell takes it. Raina Terry just pushing it over. Now it's Alonzo Corcellis finds the gap. Candela Alonzo Corcellis with kill number 12. Make it a dozen. Indiana leads 8-7. Watch Alonzo Corcellis on the approach. That was what made that ball have all that velocity going to the floor. A little bit of a wind up and you add the, the jump approach there too from the back. A lot of top spin by the serve. Had two Illini down. Joust is won by the Hoosiers but falls out of bounds. Illinois recovering after a tremendous serve by Cameron Hayworth. Getting the ball out of her hands and evening up that score line. Looked like during the joust the Illini pushed that ball kind of pulled it off the arm of a Hoosier and out, kind of directed it in the right way. Terry to serve. Back over to Alonzo Corcellis. Kept alive by Riley. Hernandez just having to push it over. Looks like a another violation on the line. I point for Indiana. They lead 9-8. Just been some sloppy play, Ian. I'm not sure if it's just the two game, two matches in three days plus the travel, but a lot of things not going their way. What's standing out to me right now is that Raina Terry is still under 10 kills here in set three. Only nine so far. And it's Alonzo Corcellis leading the match with 12 for the Hoosiers. Saris finds Martinez Mundo on the ground. She keeps it alive, though. Hayworth digs it out. Free ball for the Illini. A lot of chaos ensuing here on this rally. Tatum, the powerful swing. Wow. Indiana up 10-8, set three. Well, that's how you set the tone after some interesting play near the net. Some flustered play with the ball bouncing all over the place. Just let Avery Tatum put it away. Alonzo Corsella still to serve for the Hoosiers. Dug out Martinez Mundo. Big swing by Hernandez is kept alive from the blocks of IU. Again, Tatum. Fine back row by Terry. Double block. Oh, still alive and celebrating was Tatum, though. And that one still won by Avery Tatum, chipping at the blockers. She is having herself a set three. Well, Sell and Tatum started celebrating after the first one went over the net, and then Tatum went on ahead and tooled the block out to make sure that point was won. What a recovery there by Avery Tatum after the quick celebration. Alonzo Corsell is to serve. 3-0 scoring run for the Hoosiers. Big swing by DeBoer. Set up by Hayworth has Alonzo Corsellis at the back row, finds it. Candy has a baker's dozen. 13 kills for the Madrid Spain native. Going right down Main Street, finding that 10 meter line and just beautiful placement in the back line. Hoosiers 
on a roll. But a service error by Kendall on Zakurosellis. Halts the run. They were on a 4 0 scoring run. Illinois now back in their hands. Randa Terry trying to fire up squad, clapping. Illinois back with it. Serve is up by Philpot. Dig out by Gary on the floor. Tatum. Again. Avery Tatum has done a great job even on these one on twos at the net, Ian. Looks like an immediate challenge there by Chris Thomas of the Hoosiers. A review on this one. Back set by Hayworth. Ooh. That's a yeah, challenge on that one. Right away, it looked like on that play, Avery Hernandez was, was celebrating adamantly after that play happened, and then she was awfully confused when the whistle went in favor of Indiana. So worth Thomas to look uh, take a look at with Illinois down 13-9 here in set three. Absolutely, and especially in a set like we talked about, this is an Illinois team that, I mean, in a lot of eyes that maybe the nation needs to win this one to bolster their RPI enough to solidify themselves in that NCAA tournament. Looks like the challenge is successful. Quick review there. That one didn't take very long. Getting a second eye here, obviously, after the call. Good call there, yes, right in bounds. How about that replacement? Yeah. Serves up by Philpott, dug out Gary. Hayworth back over to Tatum, and wow, she is just punishing the Illini in this third set. So much power from that swing. Kill number 12 for her. 12 kills on 18 attacks. That is efficiency. Only two at errors at will. Two errors for Avery Tatum. She was relatively quiet throughout the first two sets. She did put together a good performance, but in this third set, she has really exploded. Absolutely, only needed 16 coming into this match to reach 350 on this season. Fickle checked in to serve for the Hoosiers. Set is up. Finesse diving to the floor was Luca Fickle. Saris blocked by a pair of Illini. Carrie Bowman, Taylor DeBoer in the mix, getting the point back for Illinois. So that height at the net hasn't been too effective so far tonight for the Illini, but effective right there, one on two. And two's gonna win that one every time, especially with that height advantage. A wonder wall right there for Illinois. Back to serve is Mosher. Hayworth up, Alonzo Corcellis. Martinez Mundo keeps it alive. Back up Hernandez. Chips at those blockers. Back to back points for Illinois. In the middle part of set three. Mosher still to serve for the Illini. It's that standing serve. Too far, service error point back with Illinois. And that's just a moment you can't have those mistakes like that, Ian. Avery Tatum to serve. Christina Martinez Muna running over to dig that one out. Randa Terry having to do a like back row attack there. Saris floats it over. Martinez Muno double dive. Terry just sends it. Back over. Saris strong strike. Mosher back. Finds the gap. Avery Hernandez on the kill. Just a well-organized possession right there. Look at finding the gap with Avery Hernandez. That was all about Martinez Mundo. The double dive, just somehow able to keep that ball up. And Hernandez putting together a good night. Nine kills so far. Hernandez right after the kill. Goes back to serve. Monta Corcellus pushes it over. And just a quick attack and emphasis by Kerry Bohm. Had some energy in the celebration. All squared away at 14 here in set three. Illinois showing some more life. This is what the Illini have been trying to get at throughout the whole night. One on one with their 6-4 middle against the 6-0 Vickers. Maddie Saris immediately going to the bench as a towel with her. Looks like it's just going to be a break to 
figure some things out there. From the eyes of us, it looks like she has a towel against her face. Maddie Saris, something to possibly look out for. One of the seniors, veterans, one of the better attackers on this Hoosier squad, especially in these middle part of the third set. Welcome back to Wilkinson Hall as things are heating up in the third set. But I'm going to talk about Candela Alonso Corsellas with November being her month this year. She recorded 25 kills against Michigan on Wednesday and she continued to do very well against key opponents like UCLA and Ohio State. She racked up 43 kills and averaged 5.38 per set. She has 20 kill performance against the Bruins was historic as it was the first time an IU player reached that mark in a three set Big Ten match since 2007. Alonzo Corsellas is on place to reach the highest kill per set in over Hoosier a decade and at the same time at 3.66 before week's matches. Coach Aird says that her consistency and leadership during the season has been instrumental in IU's effort to close the season on a high note. All right, guys, back to you. Thanks, Ari. Alonzo Corsellas blocked at the net point for Illinois right there, but I mean, she's really had a tremendous stretch of the season. The first IU player since 2002, that was Christina Archibald, to record 20 kills in three consecutive matches. Ian, neither of us were born in 2002. That was a long time ago. But looking at Alonzo Corsellas tonight, 39 total attacks. They are feeding her the rock. The game plan is to get it to her, keep her hot as it's right back with her again. Right there, Alonzo Corsellas, kill number 14, attack number 40. She's having a great match. A great month of November at that as well. Indiana League 1615. And the I Want Candy song with claps following it. Kind of a staple. As you can see, two Hoosiers already in double figures in the kill department. Maddie Saris teetering right there with eight, but she looks like she might not be returning. Still has an ice pack now on her face. Strong swing by Laney Smith. Couldn't quite find it on that back corner. Error by the fighting the line and the Hoosiers. Up to 17-15 now, back stretch of set three. <laughs> Kenzie Daphne to serve. A lot of power, Martinez Mundez, good collecto. Raina Terry, powerful arm. Over to Alonzo Corsellis again. Candela Alonzo Corsellis has 15 kills, pouring it on here at Wilkinson Hall. Time out by Chris Thomas in the Fighting Illini. Hoosiers leading 18-15. His place is on their feet. Can tell Alonzo Corsellis, like we mentioned before, just on a tear. Three straight matches with 20 kills. Has 15 already. I mean, she closed out on a hot streak to make it four in a row. That would be fantastic. Not sure she's going to do that, but Ian, she is on fire to close out this year. Well, we've been talking about the seniors all night long, and it's the junior that has taken the reins of the attack in Candela Alonso Corsellas. Avery Tatum in there as well in that junior class. They're leading in the attacking category, but it's all about Cameron Hayworth in the middle. Eric was talking about this with us before the game. One of the reasons why Alonzo Corsellis is playing so well in the month, month of November is because Hayworth is healthy and back and distributing the ball well. But all around, great performance so far. And this is what it's all about. We've talked about senior night, but it's the next group of core players for this squad. Obviously, Candela Alonzo Corsellis leading this match and kills Avery Tatum second with a dozen. Ava Vickers has been heavily in the mix here today. Maddie Sell starting middle blocker has made her presence known. Luca Fickle has been in the mix. And of course, Ramsey Gary, one of the most talented liberos in all of the Big Ten Conference. Only a sophomore at that. Last season, she comes in. It was already on the all Big Ten second team as a freshman. Bright, bright future for this squad, not to mention the recruiting classes coming in, Ian. Next two years, top six recruiting classes for Steve Aird and company. He's trying to continue to build this program, utilize in-state talent and talent around the Midwest. Illinois doing the same as well. They've got some solid recruiting classes, good players coming in, and then some stellar freshmen playing well like Phil Pot out here tonight. Gary to serve. Set up, Gary. He's able to fly over to dig it out. Up Alonzo Corsellis. Feel like I feel like a broken record now. Number 16 from Candy.
Hoosiers lead, 19-15. Really getting some momentum in set three. Trying to win straight sets on senior night. Blaney Smith, big swing from the freshman. Gets a point back for the Illini. Smith, the freshman outside hitter, 6'3 from Durham, North Carolina. She's one of that, one of the, the two freshmen getting significant minutes for Illinois. Her and Phil Pot played together in high school, played club. They're dominating here in the Big Ten in their freshman campaign. Serve is up, dug out by Mills. Long set over to Alonzo Corcellis. It's getting ridiculous at this point. 17 kills for Cantella Alonzo Corcellis. 43 attacks, and it's not even the end of set three yet. She is getting fed off after a feast already. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Hayworth with the serve, set up to Boer. Gary setting up Alonzo Corcellus, blocked at the net, kept alive by Tatum. Back over to Candy. Candy does it again. Make it 18. Hoosiers up 21-16. Might need to get her a toolbox with all the tools she's getting for these kills. You can see right there, Indiana is just dominating at the net. 46 kills and very good efficiency, hitting 327. Hayworth, strong serve, dug out Martinez Mundo. Big swing by Terry and blocked by none other than Candelo Alonso Corcellus and Maddie Sell. No chance by Randa Tainerey. Hoosiers in the driver's seat, up 22 to 16. In set three, up 2-0 in the match. Cameron Hayworth has the ball in her hands. That was all Alonzo Corcellus, excuse me. What a match he's having. Hayworth now, dug out. Back set over to Terry. It was blocked there by the Hoosiers. Point over for Illinois. Their first point and a few. Hoosiers run a 3-0 scoring run and ran to Terry. Getting the ball back in her hands, she, he, she now has 10 kills on the evening. Serve is away, back set, Avery Tatum, big swing. Gets it to go, back, point back for Indiana. They lead 23-17, Candela Alonzo Corcellus back to serve her. The Hoosiers are two points from away from winning in straight sets, Ian. And Maddie Saris is healthy, back in the game. Good to see for Indiana. Great to see the senior getting in these closing moments. Cadell Alonzo Corcellus, good serve. Hernandez right into the net. Point Indiana on the attacking air. Wilkinson holds on their feet. They know the Hoosiers are one point away from winning in straight sets. Alonzo Corcellus, who's had a fantastic match so far, has the ball in her hands. Service up by Alonzo Corcellus hitting the net service error. So Hoosier fans will wait a few more moments for this one. A couple substitutions happening for Illinois. Bianca May back to serve. Serving substitution, checking out Philpott. Still a match point, 24-18. Serves up by May, dug out Alonzo Corcellus. Set up, Hayworth blocked at the net by Tatum. That goes out of bounds. Hoosiers winning straight sets on the regular season finale and senior night. The mob going to hug Avery Tatum, winning right there. Hoosiers get the win on their final game of the 2024 season. Their record going to 50. Anna, <laughs> Enemy guys, can I go off the path? 
Lance, but it's not a good one. 